Greetings, this is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting. This is episode 2021-23, the Ebby Sweater, finishing the neckband to the back. So, in the last video, we finished um, joining the left and the right neckband, and this is the back side of that neckband. Now, for this seam, we're going to be joining this neckband to this, to the back, to the top of the back here. And for this seam, we are going to want to have the wrong side facing us. So this is the inside of the neck, this is the inside of the sweater facing us. And you can tell it's the inside because we have all these kind of pearl reverse stockinette bands as opposed to the stockinette bands on the front. First thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to pin um, the neck band to the back in place so that we can make sure we have a straight seam that we can follow. And what you can do is you will find your um, ends from when you cast on or from when you joined to knit the second side of the sweater. You'll see those um, tails <laughs> hanging there. So you're going to want to put your first marker through those tails and that's going to go right through the middle of the back of the neckband. Okay. And then you're going to want to pin at where the neckband is separated from the back here. And so I'm going to put a pin there just to make that good and snug. And then I'm going to want to put another pin. Actually, I already have one there, but let's put an orange one so you can see it a little better. So here's some tails over here that I need to get out of the way. And I will join that tail to that tail at the edge here on the right hand side. And then I want to place a few markers evenly spaced between those to make sure that we, you know, don't create any puckers when we're doing our seam, um, any inadvertent um, bumps or gaps, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to put two between here. And these are pretty much to keep me on track. So two more. Now one thing that I'm doing here too, just to point out to you, is this cast on here, you can see if you roll under, these are the cast on stitches here. I'm actually going to not want them to poke out in the front. So I'm kind of bending them and easing them under, and that's how I'm going to seam them. And we'll show you that in a minute. So then um, it's easiest for me to sew um, vertically. So I'm going to pick up my whole sweater and I'm going to move it onto my table this way so that I can work this seam um, up this way. Okay, and then this is where I'm going to start at the, one of the corners, this first corner here. And I am going to now take my yarn, and I mentioned in the last video that I am using the dapple yarn, so I'm going to be making an effort to twist it as I knit. And I'm threading this onto a darning needle and if you want a piece of yarn that's going to last for this whole seam, you probably need one about three times, at least three times, the length of this seam. Okay, um, uh, this is going to be a whip stitch. Um, this is not necessarily an invisible seam, 
and we don't have to be so particular about smiles and frowns as we were in the last project. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by um, making kind of a knot at the bottom and I'm bringing my, I'm going to get closer for you. That will really help you a lot. Okay. So I'm going to bring my needle from the right to the left and pull through and leave a tail that I can weave in later. It's a pretty long piece of yarn, so be patient with yourself. So I'm leaving a tail there. And I am going to come back through again from the right to the left in exactly the same place as I did before. And what I'm wanting to do is I want to get under, on this left hand side, I want to get under this cast on so that that won't show through on the front. And once I make this loop here, I'm just going to go ahead and take my tail and put my tail through that loop and that's going to cause a little bit of a knot there and I'm going to pull that snug. Okay. Now also on this one we're not leaving our stitches loose as we go along and then pulling them tight as we did before. We're actually going to do a good tight seam as we go. So keep your cast on edge. See where my thumb is? Keep your cast on edge and you're going to want to go under that every time and we're going to continue to go right to left all the way up the seam and this is called a whip stitch. So I'm just going to pick a part of my on the right hand piece, that's the back, and I'm going to come under on my um, neck piece, under the cast on edge on my neck piece. And I'm going to pull that through and I'll pull it tight. So that's one stitch. I'm going to continue to do this and I'm pretty much following the stitches on the cast on as a guide here. And if you look around to the other side, this is what it's going to look like. You're getting a nice band right there. I'll show you that more as we go along. Okay, and you're just going to continue whip stitching. So I'm going to want to come under this stitch next. So I'm going to grab on this side and pull and it's long and you're picking up tails <laughs> along the way and stuff. Just get them out of the way. And then get your left side and then come to your right side under that cast on and pull. Okay, I am going to continue to do this. And as, as I knit along, I want to make sure that I'm pretty even when I come to my, come to my um, pins there, that I don't have any gaps, that I haven't, you know, stretched one side too far or the other. And I'm going to continue to work all the way up to my back collar seam here. So I am going to um, pause the recording right now, and I will be back in just a bit when I get there. Hi, I'm back. So I have worked this. I'll back out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Here we go. So I worked this seam from my beginning marker, the orange marker here, and I'm almost at the middle now. And so this is what things are looking like on the inside. And this is what they look like on the outside. So that's a really nice seam there. And because we came under that cast on edge, we're not having um, any kind of funny lumps here. It's just a nice smooth seam. Okay, so I've come up now to the center and I want to just mention a few other things before we move on to the next part of our sweater. So I am using the dapple yarn to um, seam with. 
So I just wanted to remind you if you're using the dapple yarn that it is softly spun and so you will want to twist with the twist of the yarn while you're working. You also don't want to pull fiercely on this. Um, but you do want to pull these whip stitches pretty tightly. So what you want to do is you want to pick short segments of yarn to tug. So I'm going to continue my seam here and I'm going to pick up, oh the tail's in the way, pick up on the left hand side and then go under this cast on edge. And when I pull through, I'll pull my yarn through and I don't want to yank from way out here. I want to get very close to the stitch and pull just that yarn and pull it snugly. Don't snap it, just pull it snugly, but keep things close. That will keep the dapple from breaking. Um, also, remember, you do have the option of using sock yarn. I mentioned that in the first, the first video. So I'm going to continue as I get to the middle here. And when I get to the middle, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of tails and things. But I'm going to go from, a good idea is to go from the middle of your knot at your cast on and the middle of your seam at the next center and go ahead and pull that. And notice how I'm tugging tightly but closely. Okay, and then I'm going to continue up this whole line on the rest of the neck edge. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to come back to you when I'm getting close to the end and I'll show you how to finish up this seam. So I'm back again and here I am. I just got to the end of this seam. Let me back up for you again a little bit. And this is how the seam looks on the inside. Now whip stitch doesn't look all that pretty on the inside, but the outside is looking pretty good. So that's what the outside looks like. So when I get to the end of this seam, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my last marker out and I just have tails everywhere. So let's get those out of the way. I'm going to come up and do the last few whip stitches to close up that little gap at the end there. And this is my cast on. My cast on tails are there. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to make sure all the holes are, are filled. So as you can see there I've got a little bit of a hole there that I just don't like. I don't know if that was just a loose stitch or whatever. I'm going to go up one more just to make sure that's closed. Pull the tails out of the way. Pull the whip stitch tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little knot here at the end. I'm going to put my needle in at the left and at the right. I'm going to pull through and then I will have a loop here that I make with this last stitch and I'm going to put my needle through that loop to make a um, knot. And then there you have it. I've got that knotted right there and it's looking good and that's the end. So then I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to weave it in along with all these other tails that are here. So there you go. That is the um, neck seam. So let's turn it and show it to you. The next um, seam that I'm going to do is going to be a side seam. So please come to watch the video for that. Thank you. Bye-bye.